I photo dester done this it was a two heroes at the flea market and we have here a quite uh, fairly modern model of uh, Dell docking station for laptop computer. In fact, I am interested to know if there is any kind of active electronics in here or if it is just wiring going to, from this connector to the back connectors. So we have uh, first uh, we will have a look around the new uh, still current Dell logo uh, release or adjustment button here yes in fact it looks like you can adjust this piece depending if you have or not an extra uh, power battery on your laptop that is protruding behind the laptop we have on off button here Exception button here. The main laptop area with a big multi pin connector going to the bottom of the laptop. Spring pushers here. Uh, here also, maybe ground terminals also. And here the locking mechanism that will secure the laptop in place and at the same time allow to eject it. On this side, we have uh, the a lock with a Kensington hole. So actually, if your uh, base is secured with a Kensington, uh, you, the person will not the thief will not be able to uh, take the laptop. And on the back, of course, we have a number of connectors. So there is this weird unidentified thing. External SATA, I believe I have never seen any device with external SATA cable. Everything is just USB. Your old school, the PS2 mouse and keyboard. Ethernet of course. USB free. Old school uh, serial on parallel, quite nice. VGA and two DVIs with uh, display ports. It is a weird thing, a little bit like uh, HDMI, but uh, specifically for computer. But I believe the protocol is almost uh, compatible with HDMI. And your uh, power input. At the bottom, for first playing at home, uh, here is the uh, model and serial number. Made in China, of course, or Echo and China in Spanish for some reason. The model number and the uh, complicated uh, little serial number here with QR code and a lot of screws. So, two of the screws have uh, arrows, usually, it means it is the screws you have to undo to open the thing, like this. But I do not believe it will uh, give anywhere because if I undo this, obviously the wall cover will not come off. This will not come off, and this will not come off. So I wonder why they did a bother putting two arrows on these screws. And considering um, probably not many people will do any repair in these things. So let me undo the other screws and I will be right back. Okay, screws are removed, but it looks like the base plate here will not move at all. Maybe we have some clips. Yes, looks... Okay. Okay, so, first this piece. As usual with uh, laptop computer parts, uh, parts number and uh, serial numbers everywhere. Here we have a mechanism for the button on the side that will secure the prevent of uh, doing the laptop with big uh, flat screws and your red indicator here and some shielding. Okay. Uh, made by 
Everday Plastics. It is written here. And no date code. And here is what we have inside. To Ali, a quite a big circuit board. And a big shielding here in uh, stainless, it seems. Is it stainless? No, it is a fake stainless. Magnets are sticking to it. Okay, and we have one piece here that seems to be magnesium. So, if you want to test random metal for uh, magnesium content, you take some white vinegar and you put one drop of vinegar, I said one drop of vinegar all on the metal and you wait a few seconds. If it makes bubbles, it is magnesium. But here it looks like nothing is happening, so it is either a low magnesium content or not magnesium at all. Oh no, I have white vinegar everywhere on my bench. Very nice. So, let's continue to take it apart. Uh, first, this big metal plate. I see two more screws. And here we have a rose, again for the screws. So anyway, I have no use for this thing, so it is not coming back uh, together, I believe. And it is worth almost nothing on eBay, you can have one for 20 euros with shipping anyway, so... It is not uh, a high uh, price item. So, your metal plate, and you can see the wall circuit board going to the connector location here. The wall mechanism here, very complicated. I can see what seems to be a light pipe here for the LED. The indicator in here actually, I know there is a blue indicator in this. Okay, uh, let me continue to undo things. So, our uh, spring loaded pieces here. Oh, some broken plastic. Yes, just a spring loaded piece like this. I think it's testing. Uh, then I will undo. I will undo. Uh, the next step is actually to undo the circuit board itself. It will reveal the wall. I do not see a lot of parts on the circuit board so far. So let me figure it out. Little terminal here. Okay. Um, okay. okay. And we have more screws. No, I believe the wall thing should come off. At least the wall circuit board. Okay. So here, just a plastic uh, back piece with again a serial number. One model number. I do not believe it is a piece you will have to replace place very often, but still. And here is what we have. A uh, little bit more complicated than expected, actually. So first we will have a look at the other part here, and then we will go back to this circuit board. Here is our main mechanical assembly. We've uh, attached with this uh, shaft here. Springs. Uh, the ground, or supposedly ground contacts here. It is where, because you can see we have little nuts to go into them. I was not expecting this. Quite a weird, uh, complicated little assembly. 
Okay, you have to turn this in one defined position. Okay, like so, on the twin, remove, it will release this little metal pin. Okay. And here, nothing else except uh, this mechanism here for the adapter piece. Vinegar everywhere. So it will work like such. Interesting. Uh, you have your not magnesium piece here, and finally, here the on off button with the LED. Switch on the side, one LED here, and probably one over in the middle of the button here. Yes, LED 2 and LED 1. Let me zoom a little bit. Very uh, LED free board. Interesting little uh, micro switch here. And they did not solder on uh, both sides, as you can see. Quite weird, but this may be a useful piece to save, at least. Okay, and we have more light pipes. So there is one here and one here. That is at the same time the push button for uh, the on-off feature. Uh, brass inserts and nothing else. I will uh, finish to take it apart off camera because really it is just a matter of undoing screws and saving some uh, piece of unidentified metal for the scrapyard. So now we can go to the main electronics and it looks like the first thing will be to undo this. Uh, 3D uh, spacers, so I will be right back. Okay, so when you take apart uh, all computers, you end up with uh, insane stock of this thing. So uh, we have this. That metal plate here with this wire connector that is actually screwed to it. So it will be possible to save it, but uh, it is called a monitor stand cable. Interesting. So probably for some custom use of a laptop. Not everybody will use this. We have pretty EV copper shielding here and aluminium foil shielding. Quite nice. I was not expecting uh, copper pieces. So I will save this for the scorpion. Okay. This is worthless, and uh, we have uh, quite a lot of stuff, so we will start uh, by undoing this extra level of circuit board with the DVI ports. So this is just uh, a board with the connectors, and a few resistors and tutors maybe. And uh, I will uh, zoom now and we will have a look at the wall circuit. So your uh, power input is here. Some uh, MOSFETs here, switching MOSFET probably. Uh, filter uh, inductor probably. USB is here. More uh, power devices on this side. Uh, here you have the 
display parts on this weird parts are called actually F2 and F3 so they might be polyfuse maybe fuse that will uh, re-enable after a few seconds and they might be to protect the yes it looks like they actually go to the ground of the display port look at this big track here so it must be to protect the display port in some way we have one uh, main chip here SMC LPC 47 and whatever one other fuse here, fuse number 4 so I do not see fuse number 1 for some reason your old school pack of uh, connectors here this might be the I guess uh, USB controller USB free controller probably big coil more little I see it. ah fuse one number one is here and it is actually going directly to the ground of the uh, PS2 really weird to ground the uh, to fuse the grounds so maybe it is for some kind of lightning protection or something like this because it is not usual uh, your external SATA here no fuse on this one you and your wired docking connector here of course on the other side we did already check there is not much at all except a bit uh, ground ball grid array here for some reason yes it is making a ground contact with uh, when you screw on it they did use a ball grid array pattern for this purpose almost right uh, in as well so this was an interesting little device not uh, totally uh, expected to have so many components inside first and uh, interesting design so thanks for watching bye bye